Welcome to the party. It's your watch time, friend. If you're seeing me, if you're listening, then it's time to watch something. What's up guys, it's your girl D. This is Watch Time Friends, where you watch stuff with me, your friend D, because my other friends uh, didn't want to do it. So, today, we're watching What If Season 2, Episode 8. And this one is called, What If The Avengers Assembled in 1602? 1602? What is there even to assemble about? <laughs> I mean, uh, oh, yay. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> this should be interesting. <laughs> I have some ideas, but I'm going to let them take it. I'm going to let Marvel do what they do. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not going to hold y'all up. Let's watch something. To be or not to be. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that sounds like Loki. nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune. Or to take arms. Oh, okay. And by opposing, end them. He's an actor. <clears throat> oh, Excuse me. Is that Thor? Acting. Booing Thank him. <laughs> oh, that is not acting. <sighs> when can we start throwing cabbages at him? I brought a whole bushel and they're rotten. <laughs> <laughs> Not again. What's happening? It's a double rib. There is. It starts. Move quick. Go. No drop to returns. It falls in the treasure. Oh. Oh. My queen. Yep. Gonna need that rope again. Okay, so in this time, in this timeline, Odin's not there, and Hela was the queen. Sorry, you speak to me as sorry. My sister is gone, lost to the storms that are tearing our world apart. The storms, the Scarlet Witch summoned you to stop. I. She is cursed. Season. Oh, what? I want her alive. <laughs> so was she already there at the play? Or did she fall through the, the rift? Because it looked like she was already there. Her and Nick Fury, I think. With their world collapsing in on itself, a band of heroes gathered together to save their reality. The Scarlet Witch Wanda Maximoff used her powers to reach into a neighboring universe for a warrior. One willing to face impossible odds to save a dying reality that's not her own. A hero mm. like Captain Peggy Carter. Okay, well, you kind of just dragged her out of her world. The captain joined the heroes of 1602 in their desperate bid to save their world. But now, after weeks of trial and error, she stands weeks. alone. A failure and an outlaw in the dying... No, I was talking like it was months or years. That's only been a weeks. With no way home. No oh, y'all tripping. Y'all are tripping. It's only been weeks. You expect me to repair... A multiversal rift in a couple weeks? Are you crazy? Peggy, you don't belong here. You're fighting a battle you can't possibly understand. Oh, really? Well, the way I figure it, two time periods, the 1600s and the early 21st century, have been compressed, stuck together like two pieces of gum. If I don't find a way to unstick these time periods, this universe will shatter. Well, yeah, I think you got it. What's that for? I'm going to take you back to your universe. I'm not leaving. I want Carter found. Carter is not the cause of this, my lord. But I still right. believe she is the key to our survival. For I sense there is another, a person from a time that is still to come, a forerunner who has fallen through time, unaware that their presence is causing our universe to collapse. And how, pray tell, 
shall we find this fellow? <laughs> Pray tell. The answer is beyond even my capabilities. Sounds Who is like it? Every mission. Thank you. Oh, wet. <laughs> Morning, Tony. More like a souvenir. Huh. You're right. Mm. This stuff gives off an energy. They're probably radioactive. Ooh, wait. Active what now? God, I love your made-up words. I need more of your <laughs> made-up like words. Ha -ha! Yes. I'm searching for a person, a forerunner, who would have been the first person transported to this world from the future and the reason reality is collapsing around us. You think this forerunner would share the same energy as the Ritz? Yes, I do. There is one thing rumored to have enough power to propel a thousand ships. I doubt our new king will let me borrow his scepter. Well then, sounds like you need a thief to help you steal it. And if that was going to call him Iago, mm. shall they? <laughs> They're not interested. <laughs> Good morrow, Steve Rogers Hood. You know, for an out Rogers Hood. <laughs> Pineapple cake. Uh, everybody's oh, here. They got marzipan. We're here for the coin, not the cake. I've always been partial to whiskey, but uh, well, champagne will suffice, I suppose. This must be some trickery. Or a ghost. For my maid Margaret passed to the other side many moons ago. I'm dead in this world? That's great. Sorry, I what? mean, that's terrible. That's great? Great stealing, everyone. Ailing great stealing. <laughs> great stealing, everyone. <laughs> Pretty much. In your world, is there another Steve Rogers? Yes. Well, I've seen a, like. seen a couple of them, actually. I think I will. Ah, uh, so he's kind of trapped in a machine, and uh. My Margaret would want to save this world too. Hmm. Oh, what is that? Oh no, man, we've got company. The king wants Podge alive. The rest is up to you, assassin's discretion. What kind of sixteen oh two is this? <laughs> How could you? You didn't kill the sister. The rift took her. Y'all, come on. We don't have time to be gazing into each other's eyes. Wait, is he still got the Hulk on him? In him? Does it see him kind of turn purple, or is it when? I think we just won. Huzzah! Uh, hello. Fire! Run! All right. Steve, she's right. I'll draw their fire and cover your exit. Huh? Small guy on an ant. Oh, I didn't think this through. Well, hope you didn't need that head. with that madman Stark? Well, that would be a farce to see. Dang it. What's that for? Y'all brought me here and now you... Away. Are you ready to go home? No, there's still a chance. I'm unable to see the coming events clearly when a universe is close to extinction. I'm sorry. This world is destined to die. You can't change that. If you see someone hurt, you help them. Uh, no, he doesn't. <laughs> Even if you find and destroy this forerunner, what happens next? What if the world doesn't magically correct itself? When the universe resets, you're trapped here forever. What if, what if, what if? I have to try because I'm Captain Carter. <laughs> oh. And if you're not going to help me, get out of my way. I mean, is he even ever really there? You know? Dang! Monster in the Iron Mask. He 
He could use your help. Shh. Go away. I don't want any trouble. But we need you. Br Bruce? Over here! Stop it! Stop that Well. Hey, bud. <laughs> well, <laughs> he's just riding on his back. <laughs> Peggy will fix it. I hope. <laughs> I hope. Sheesh. Finishing my greatest invention ever. Which is, what is that? It will reveal the Forerunner and send them back from whence they came. Once, you know, the prized Royal Stone is inserted. Maybe we can help. Royal you. Stone? But I did manage to wrestle this from some palace guards on the way over. I thought you might need it. You guys are so cute. Uh, <laughs> what's the plan? We'll enter in disguise, blend in with the crowd. Tony will line wait with the device. We will get the stone. And save the world. Quick to be Iago. And he's a clever man, and he's a military man. And <laughs> he's he, still talking uh, about this play about Yarko. <laughs> Lang, throw that in my ear one more time. Y'all, blend in, please. Hello? It's here. What is? Oh, the rift. What's the signal? Tony said we'd know it when we saw it. Signal! Okay. Signal! Loki, let us join the fray, brother. Where's the hammer I got you? I have misplaced it. Oh. <laughs> My king, we are short on time. Is anything going to come out of there, or...? Ah, Sir Hogan! Hood! Care to try your luck? Taste my steel, you vile crushing onion! Sheesh, happy! I mean, Hogan? Oh, not the feather! I am so... Good luck. What, 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 he what, wasn't what, mad before. Let, let's oh. Talk about this. Oh. Hulk, we need your help. You dare sully this royal hall with your face? <laughs> Not with your face. <laughs> I trusted you once. My sister trusted you. We all trusted you. you For a couple us. weeks, bro. Y'all have no patience. Oh, father. Oh, to kill her? Break. You're more of a drama queen than your brother. Bless. Uh. That is too far. <laughs> right, I was about to say. Hulk smash thee! Hulk smash thee? <laughs> Why does he lose all his hair when he's angry? And how does he get it back? <laughs> I can't hold it for long. Oh boy. Happy and money fiend. Oh, red scallion. These insults are crazy. Manuel Paltroon. No hope. Whoa! I surrender! <laughs> I surrender! Get you to that sector. Yeah, can y'all move a little quicker if that's possible? That'd be great. What? I'm sorry, my king, but we're out of time. Fury! Find me an opening! Oh! Were they in on it the whole time or this had better work start. Hurry so, up. Just, uh, and pop goes the weasel. Put it in. Thank you. I mean, this works. You gotta be kidding me. Dog? It's only a failure if it explodes. Oh, brother. Uh, hurry.
Well, you should be directing all this energy at the rift and not us. Armed with a golden glove, I went to strike with my shield and hit one of the stones instead. Ah. Carter was right. So it wants you to go I'll through it. You fool. Finish your task. You have to send him back. I, I can't lose you again. Will they go with him? I need to do. <laughs> he put crazy <laughs> I'm sure somewhere out there we do hey where did everybody go because every battle you won every inch you gained would mean you're only getting further from home tell me to gloat tell me that I'm stuck here forever no, I just thought you could use a friend. Strange. What, what are, are you doing here? Oh, Peg, have I got a story to tell you. It looks so scary. <laughs> oh, no matter if he's on the good side or the bad side, you look scary regardless. All right, so that was uh, episode eight of the second season of What If? That was very interesting. I don't understand exact, like I thought, I don't, I'm wondering why when Steve pressed the little middle part of the glove Peggy was wearing, like why did everyone disappear? Does, was it like him being dropped into that timeline created something like new because he wasn't supposed to happen and then when he pressed it, it got reset? And that's why no one was there, or like what? <laughs> that's, um, I'm just, I don't know. Um, I don't, I don't really know exactly. Maybe I'll have to watch it again. Like maybe I missed some terminology that was like key to me understanding exactly what they were trying to do. But uh, um, uh, yeah. Dang, that stinks that, I guess that was a timeline where Hela was just good. <laughs> but Thor was directing all his energy at the wrong person. Direct your energy at the rift, not at me. You only allowed me a couple weeks to fix a multi a multi-dimensional rift. And, and what exactly did you expect her to do for real? If you, with your hammer and your lightning, couldn't do anything and Wanda couldn't do anything, one of the most powerful magical beings. Couldn't do anything. What did you expect Peggy to do? But I mean, I mean, to be fair, she did it. So she she assembled thine Avengers. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> oh man. So that is gonna be a wrap on this one. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Welcome to the party, it's your watch time friend If you see seeing me, if you're listening, then it's time to watch something